All right, I'm back and welcome back to everyone. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, my name is Tabby and this is Tabby Plays Games. And we're going to start with Firewatch. Not start. <laughs> well, we're going to do Firewatch now. My thoughts on Firewatch so far. I think there's some psychological elements going on in that game. And as I was mentioning, um, I had some theories, well, one, several theories. Okay, so I need to board up the broken window. So the thing that gets to me a little bit about the game is, uh, this is day three don't know much about Delilah. I feel like her name Delilah is kind of a hint or some sort of a sign. I don't know. The reason is it's kind of silly. Um, when I was very little, <laughs> I used to kind of like write stories and I was trying to think of a name for one of my characters and I came up with the name Delilah. Well, obviously it wasn't my original name, uh, original idea for a name, but I thought, oh, that's such a pretty name. And then I was using it for one of my stories that I wrote. And later on, I found out that the name belonged, was, I guess, originally in a biblical, Deli Samson and Delilah. I didn't know about it at the time. Um, but anyway, there's got to be some relationship with her name being Delilah here to that story uh, in terms of like the role, not not the person. <laughs> so I thought maybe what Delilah is telling me isn't quite true. And sorry, ouch, the heater is suddenly really hot uh, to turn it off. Okay. Um, I thought it was weird at the start of day three, she was like, oh, I'm just trying to draw a picture of you, which was what Julia did. So why is she doing these things that kind of seem, I don't know, right? I mean, <laughs> that's... So something is going on there. She wouldn't tell me much. And then partially I thought maybe this whole outdoor thing is not, I'm not really outdoors. It's my imagination, not imagination, but something that my brain is trying to process. I don't know. I don't want to read too much into it yet since we're only on day three. So I'll just go with that for now and see. Oh, did I pick up those sheets? I guess I did. I hope I washed them. <laughs> and last time I was saying, oh, is this calendar wrong? Uh, it's probably right. It's probably May 1989 because we decided the story or is taking place in 1989. And I threw the hats on the floor. Oh. <gasps> My die is still under the table. <laughs> I really wanted to play the game there. Let's hang it back up here. I know! I can't get it. Oh, okay, I guess they're not going up. I can't... No, I can't duck. I don't think I can. Settings. Controls. There's no... Look. Flashlight. Climb. Jog. 
keep held item. No ducking. So it's forever under the desk. That's my fault for throwing it there. <laughs> okay, and I wanted to see if I can see the story. <clears throat> oh, I, I did write something. May 3rd. Today, I think today's going to be normal. Although Delilah is having a hell of a time getting the communications wire fixed. Those girls did a real bang up job. Oh, and another bad word for me to filter. A sober. Few days before I left, I got a call from Jules dad. Realized I hadn't talked to him over the past few years as much as I thought. I think I was so worried about getting Madeline on the phone whenever I would call that I just stopped calling altogether. I guess that's the sort of thing right, writing all this stuff down is supposed to make me realize. Anyway, Mick just wanted to see how I was doing and wanted to have me out. And I appreciate it because he's got that ain't no worries bloke attitude. But it doesn't feel right. I bet Madeline's been hard on him. Here's something else I realized. Jules liked my parents. She liked them both, but that didn't stop her from laying into me with, you're still acting like your father. And I realize now that I love the parts of her that I got from, that she got from Mick and the parts of her that she got from Madeline scared the living shit out of me, except for the whole looks department. No denying she lucked out there. <laughs> there she is. Mm. I didn't read the previous thing days to see my own analysis so it's too bad <laughs> I don't have a broom to get oh I do have a broom <laughs> but it won't let me get the dye okay so today's goal is to get boards and see if we can figure out how to get the die back. <laughs> uh, why does it have to be all the way over there? Okay, let's go out. Day three. They only broke that one window. Honestly, it's not too bad of a living arrangement, except for the toilet. <laughs> Having to go to the outhouse. But you got a kitchen, a desk. Great view, a bed, a stove, is that toilet paper up there? I guess that's toilet paper. <laughs> Where am I going to find boards? Oh, there's one right there. Well, that was easy. It's like they left it here for me. And also, I wish I had had more chances. Do I really want to turn it? Oh. Okay, that didn't do anything. Could have had a really good D and D game. If we didn't throw the die under the desk. <laughs> oh yeah, I forget. I can run. I can run. Oh, I don't remember this area.
<laughs> That's true. That's true. I forget I'm Henry. Uh, <laughs> probably would have done that. Um, well, the first wood board was obvious. Let's see if I can remember the controls. There we go. Get a couple more boards. Oh, still not used to it. Um, I wish I could tell if I've been old. Climbing gear, overgrown trail, damaged tree. Adjacent region. I actually didn't even read this map to figure out what it does. One, two, three, four, five, six. One are red tops. Oh, this is kind of like uh, the names of the areas. Sort of. Oh, no, they're just the adjacent regions. Okay, never mind. For sale, you can buy this. Trail, campsite, telephone line, tunnel. How, what was running again? Oh, was it? Okay. Hmm. How was that first board so obviously just leaning against the thoroughfare bear tooth point? Oh, there. No, wait, that's not a board. <laughs> wait, can I use that as a board? No. Oh, here's one. Who put these boards out for me? <laughs> Highly suspicious. The boards are just nicely propped up for me to find. Right? That would just com completely cover the window and that would solve my issue. Where is this on the map? Still not used to the controls. Broken tree. Ah, I'm so bad at the controls still. I remember there was a trail somewhere. I, I'm going in circles. Oh, is that a board? No. Wasn't this the first day I walked down here? And I was like, oh, maybe I should go that way. And then instead of going up to the house, Jump. Did I miss the jump? Oh wow, he really has to jump. He's jumping with two boards that he's holding too. Copy map. I, I think I went too far actually. Ah, don't do that. Jane here. Who put these books here? Charlotte Bronte. Ah, 
toilet paper. One chance to die. Wait, didn't we have this book in our cabin too? <laughs> Maybe Delilah did. She told me they were all one, two, three, four. Oh, this is the lending library, I see. More old toilet paper. Oh, no, 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 don't drop it there. Someone might actually... <sighs> Someone might actually want the toilet paper. <laughs> it's been on the floor now. Ah. Uh, that's true. What's that note say? Ron, really wish the powers that be could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages but the main off at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her. But I'm a quarter way through this bottle of these eyes instead miss you. Take the note. Oh, Examine. Keep. I can keep it? Oh, I didn't know I can do that. Okay, well, I don't think my boards are this way, so let's go back first. I just took something. I don't know. It might be useful later on. <laughs> I think this is a dead end. Yeah. Okay. Back the other way. But they leave such weird stuff in those supply cache. Like it's not... Except for the granola bar and toilet paper. Most of it is not very useful. Like why did they leave so many pine cones in there? Like you can just pick up a pine cone probably walking on the trail. Hmm. I'm just glad there's there are no bears out here. I didn't bring any whistle. I think this was the way I came in. Oh. That's a good point. I did not know that. I not I can't start a fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I'm on this side. What damaged tree? Chop down. Oh, do I find an axe later? This will become a shortcut for me. You'd be surprised how much useful stuff you can learn through video games sometimes. <laughs> so that's why there's... F but, well, I can see why, but... I guess if they're dry... How many more boards do I need? How many did I find? Just two so far? I think I'm pr 
probably going off track again. Long drop down. That means... How do I get to the map again? This one? There it is. Get a couple more board. Okay. Zoom in. Doesn't really... No. Uh, zoom in. Uh, it doesn't really tell me where I'd be able to find more board. Okay, I feel lost, but let's just go ahead. Probably the wrong way. Ruby River, Jonesy Lake. Oh, they're not that far. If I find more boards this way, then that means you can go so many places. Oh, is this the medicine wheel thing? Oh. Oh. I, I don't like that. Every time I see like a save, flashing save icon, it makes me wonder why. Why is the game thinking I need to save here? Is something about to happen? No? Okay. This must be for later. Maybe something happens later in the game there. I think I went too far looking for wood boards, I should say. I also keep Jonesy Lake. This is where I jumped down, right? Is there a board here? Clawed up tree. Right, this was where I originally... I didn't take my backpack with me, right? So I, can I still attach another rope? It's steep, RT. Oh, good. Now I can always come back down and up. Is there a wooden plank over there? No, that's just another rock for repelling. I, I think I'm lost. Not lost, but lost on what to do to find more boards. Is this the chapter I get to maybe explore a little bit then? Yeah, seems too far. I feel like the wood, the wooden boards must be nearby. This view. What about it? Take a picture? How do you take a picture? Oh, there we go. Okay. This view. Seems familiar. Oh! It 
it's not letting me do anything, but isn't that Thorough? Isn't that where Delilah's tower is? Isn't that where Delilah's lookout tower is? Maybe it's not letting me press anything. Hmm. Just a forest sound. Oh, this is 306 where I started, right? Right, with the granola bar. Can I take this note too? I can. I'm gonna keep his notes. I'm gonna keep the granola bar too. No, no, that's eating it. I'll put it back. We'll get it later. It was my fault for not eating the granola bar in the first place and I fell off the cliff. I think this is the right way back. Lots of fallen trees. Oh look, there's a birdhouse. Who built that birdhouse? I'm surprised Delilah's not talking nearly as much as she did yesterday. Or uh, on day two, she was so chatty. And now she's just leaving me to go look for wood by myself. Oh, here's my house. Can I use this? Nope. Oh, there's another one. I found it. I went too far. Let's take that one. Oh, I ran all the way around for no reason. <laughs> Three boards were all... Oh, here's another one. Did someone put them there? I didn't see that there earlier. <laughs> okay. Delilah could see us right from her lookout tower. Is that my screen? Oh, she's over there. Okay. Alright, let's board up the window. Hey, I found exactly... I found four boards. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and, uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, so now I get to explore until I'm ready to work. <laughs> oh, look. That's where the hammer came from. Rags. Ah, that's going to make me sad every time I look at it. <laughs> Hey, I did a good job. I guess we're ready to work. Coffee. Poor coffee. 
Nope. At least there's electricity up here. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm ready to work. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. What? It's already... six days later? Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Mm hmm. I didn't do anything to them. What about their camp? That wasn't me. You know that. Don't get defensive. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? <sighs> I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll keep it vague. Oh no, I, really I feel like I'm just... Me neither. Alright Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. I feel like... Day 15, okay, six days later. Um, I feel like these choices... Henry. Something happened to those girls. It's going to be somehow pinned on me, even though I didn't do anything. Death? Wait, what was the other book? Death Strikes at 1? This is Death Strikes at 2? was Delilah. Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. How is... That's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <sighs> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. I need to pause here. Day 33. It's almost one month. Or, uh, it is, has been one month. Uh, okay, so what happened there? Because... Too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, 
when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Okay, so that confused me back there because... Hey, so, who's Jules? I, I mean, I assume it's your ex. I can't stop. I, I don't mean to pry. It's just, um... How do you know that name? I haven't said anything about Julia. Um... Wait, is there something going on that I don't know about? <laughs> what? No. Look, a couple of weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night, and... You were talking in your sleep, I guess. I only heard the name Julia, so I figured I'd ask. It's hard to talk about. You don't have to. It's hard because... Well, I... here can't be some sort of punishment for you. Whatever you did can't be that bad, and if it is, it's in the past. All I would say is, be good to yourself. I'll let you keep hiking. So, she did, it was Delilah calling, and I guess I thought it was Julia, so I thought I was talking to Julia rather than Delilah, but that's weird. Why does she wait so long to say something about it? It's like f almost 15, eight, 18 days later. A and definitely she's Australian. <laughs> but that was really weird. Maybe, but she waited a really long time to say something, I, I guess. Hmm. But then... She never even... Oh, yeah, no worries. Enjoy your lunch. I'm going to keep going on. It's 30 day, 33 days into the story suddenly. <laughs> Enjoy your lunch. <laughs> Henry was just having a sandwich earlier too so supply drop I guess this is the direction I'm supposed to go they never answered what happened with the girls I mean it's been a month since they were reported missing did they ever find them and just because I was the last one to see them doesn't necessarily... Uh, that would be really, really rough. If they were trying to pin it on me because I was the last one to see them, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, anybody... could have made... What was that sound? Is that the supply drop? No, I can't, couldn't have hiked a mile, a kilometer already. And what about the guy that was, like, who threw my typewriter out the window? Ah, the mysteries. I was just thinking to myself, like, if somebody tried to pin it on me, like, they are like, well, you just tried to throw the typewriter out the window yourself. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah, it looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh, that's weird. What do you think they're keeping in? 
What do they not want to have get out of there? Oh, geez, so many things. Should I just stop you now? Maybe loads of hedgehogs. Okay. Thousands, even full percentage points of the global hedgehog <laughs> population. Uh huh. The New Zealand government is, is up in arms. Where are all the hedgehogs? Well, folks are hiding them all in Wyoming. That's where they are. Who would do that and why? Haha. <laughs> that is the real mystery. Really glad I kept you in the loop. Thanks for all of the <laughs> high quality information. Okay, okay. I'll ask what's up if I talk to someone in the next few days who I think might know. Oh, you know? Hey, remember that guy from a few weeks back? The guy I saw while hiking home on my first day? Yes. Maybe he was from this fence place. Mm, from the land of the fence. Yes. You know what? I'll make a note. You might be on to something. So I remember um, when I was doing this last week, I had a lot more options to talk to Delilah. Like any time the calm stuff came up, I could have, I could have um, pressed the walk walkie-talkie <laughs> the radio to like ask her questions but I didn't do that a lot because I didn't realize that there were more conversations I could try to do so I'll try to notice that today um, and see if I can try to get more ideas what's going on here no trespassing Oh, it's another way to Jonesy Lake, though. 1863? Why do I have a question mark there? Do I take a picture of it? <laughs> I am still not sure what kind of game this is. Uh, where's my map? No, nope. map. Oh, there's the supply drops. And I am by the fence. Oh, there's a cache on the way there. Up there. Okay. Oh, right. That was where the backpack was. Okay. The cash is on the right. Okay. There it is. What are those? Jonesy Lake. Okay. Um. No. Cash. Eight, 1986. This was three years ago. Oh, look at those. So hard to read. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit hill, Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went up to check on the new guy. Wait, did I open this cash before? I'm going to take all these notes. Oh, right. I did pick this up before. Okay. Wait, I have been here. Oh, I threw it on the floor. Everything on the floor. Oh. Put it back. <laughs> you don't want anyone getting to that. Okay. I put those ropes down. Well, I'm glad that they're still working after a month. Let's go up. It's different seeing this view going back up. Yeah, those ropes still made me wonder. 
why there are two ropes dangling. I am going the right way, I hope. Hi. Looks like it just followed a trail sort of to the left. Supply drop, Jonesy Lake. I didn't come all the way down this way last time, so I'm just going to go pick up the supplies. Supply drop. Wait, which way? Oh, to the left. I almost went the wrong way. Is that it? They just leave it here? Okay. This is the best... No, not really. This is <laughs> the worst. No, this is the best combination for this game anyway. <laughs> oh! Moss Peak Spruce Okay. Yay. All right. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Whoa, two months later. How long am I here for? <gasps> You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm going to call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? <laughs> so, no ideas, huh? The big fire. Come on, there's got to be something creative in that brain of yours. Okay. Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. <laughs> there's this creek down the hill. And, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I don't know. Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. Somebody. We could talk without these radios. We could, um, you know. <laughs> yeah, I don't have much time. Oh. 
Usually the response time is so fast. It's actually giving me time what? to think. What could we do? Well, let me tell you. Mm. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem there they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. See, that's when the timer's growing. Uh... Oh, uh. uh, sure, no problem. Remember me fondly. You are such a drama queen. Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, we get fishing in this game. Uh, LB. I don't know how to fish. Well. Put it away for now. I wonder if we're really going to fish or we're just holding a fishing rod. Well, uh, we're suddenly 76 days into this. And I those that last month was kind of strange with Delilah. Um, I picked a lot of choices quickly because I thought there was a timer on the button. And I still don't know all these buttons that well. Oh, we're looking for bear tracks. Want some more? Okay. Where were the bear tracks? Near the lake? Thank you for following. Okay, we'll just um, head towards the bear track there and go. Oop. I can run with a uh, compass at least. <gasps> Fireworks! Didn't we confiscate these? Or how did it come back? <laughs> That's weird. This was all at the beginning. That's so strange. Okay, we'll keep going. Bear tracks, right? Oh, what? Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. It could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? What? The, uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. What? Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? I'm worried. <sighs> what? You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. What was that? Just, just let me know, okay, Buckaroo? Oh god, I don't know why I just called you that. Uh, front. Uh, who would be writing this? I don't. Uh. Wow. Wait, I didn't say some of these things.
Hmm. I want to see page two. Okay. I'll just hold on to it. There was some weird noise just now. Oh, I bet it's up the path that we came from towards the canyon. Oh, what's... It's another radio. something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you are you sure you saw what? what you saw, Henry. Uh, maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. They're not related. This just... Oh, this just seems like a, like a misunderstanding or something. Are you, are you sure you were actually attacked? Yes! There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the f***? I don't know, Henry. This sounds... Crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So, what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie, taking notes and talking to God knows who. Hmm. <laughs> oh. oh no no. We should just get the hell out of here. That oh, timer just Henry went. Hike. You're welcome to do it, but you're gonna catch hell from the service and have to explain yourself. Plus, there's a fire burning across Rose Creek. You hike through there on the way in. Call someone and tell them to come get me. I'm not going to book a fifteen thousand dollar helicopter ride for you. I'm not doing it. Why not? Okay, we can't freak out. There's got to be a reasonable explanation for all of this. You're right. You're right. I'll, I'll head to Wapiti Meadow, but I swear, if this gets worse, you better get on the horn and get us out of here. I'll call around and see if anything weird is happening to anyone else, okay? Sounds good. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Not only an eavesdropper, but... Something else, like... <sighs> I don't know, why is she making it sound like I'm lying too? I mean, it sounds crazy, but... Now I'm trying to remember... Oh, also welcome back! <laughs> I'm trying to remember now, when I went to the supply drop, there were two other uh, drops for locations. I didn't see thor thoroughfare, but I saw something else. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was strange. Okay. Who punched me? <laughs> ah. I 
I need to go down and left. Okay. This way. What is that? Is it from the tree? Or does... I don't... Oh, are those the embers from the fire? Not sure. Climb up here. I'm doing okay after being hit on the head. <laughs> Oh, there's more climbing points here. Is this where I want to go? Uh, looks like it. All right, let's keep going. <sighs> I don't know how me going there will help the situation. <laughs> Oh, what is this? What does that mean? It's like a marker. Is this like almost the near the end of my service? as a fire watcher and now all this crazy things starts happening oh it's the other side of the fence Delilah's somebody I'm here all right I'm here looks like goddamn area 51 <laughs> maybe they've got aliens that'd be exciting We'll see about that. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet, usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well... See what you can do to get past it. <laughs> Time to figure out how to get through the fence. Oh. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? It's Hello, one, two, three, four. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's not one, two, three, four, because the sign says code 1863. I'm going to pretend I'm smart. <laughs> okay. Why can't. Oh, wait, what? Why can't I target the lock? I've, I've given it the good college try. Uh, no dice. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. No, it's... God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. <laughs> hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned the line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. But I think I know the code. Because there's a question mark. And it says code. Hey, let me try this. <laughs> I guess I can't do that. Oh, look, there's more loose stones.
It looks exactly like the last stone. Okay. I'm getting better with the map. Oh, is it? <laughs> you might be right. I'm, I'm just playing detective thinking I can get through. Ah. Uh, where does she say the look for controlled burn south of Ruby River? Ruby River. Um, all the way over there? Oh, scout camp? Wow, that's a long hike. Okay, let's see if that's a long way to go. All right. I roughly remember my way around. Not this way. <laughs> Wait, I'm stuck. Yeah, it's like past even where my uh, lookout is. Okay, climb. I'm doing pretty well for having been punched in the head. I don't feel a concussion yet. <laughs> At least not in a video game. Okay. All the way back through the camp. This is really far. Basically almost going back to where I am. Okay. Wonder if something's going to happen along the way. But so far pretty straightforward. This is where I was punched. They took my note, they took the clipboard that had all the conversations in it that they were spying on. Somehow the fireworks came back here. I picked it up. There's music. Hmm? I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? Hmm. Uh, A. It's a long way there. Not here. I have to climb up that. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Should we call the cops or the forest service and, and let them know this is going on? Um, don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them. What? Henry, tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. Henry, I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never going to let me come back out here. Do you understand that? All right. I'm headed toward the camp anyway. <sighs> Keep your radio close to you. Hey, will you just said keep my radio close to me yeah before i got attacked back at the lake i saw a radio on the ground kind of like the one i use and do you think that maybe someone was you know uh i don't know what maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something 
Henry. It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. She seems very quick to deny anything's happening, even though I think being punched is pretty serious. Uh, I mean, uh, the chain of events feels like I'm being framed for something. But I am on day, what is this? 96? <laughs> Supposedly almost near the end of this job. Okay. Uh, nope. Map. Map. That's what it feels like, doesn't it? Like, I'm... She keeps telling me nothing is wrong. And it feels like everything is wrong right now. Okay, so if I head to my right and sort of follow the right trail, I should be able to get closer to where I need to go. Yes, it is. Actually, I wanted to tell people that um, it's on sale on Steam until the 16th, I think? 15th or 16th. What? He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Why is she bringing him up now suddenly? It's weird, but okay. Uh, am I still going the right way? <laughs> oh. I want it to go... Well, this way will take me there too, that's fine. Trying to like back up through my house. Yeah, this will do. Back to where... So yes, for people who want to try out this game themselves, and especially since I definitely did not have an option to play what how the other dialogue choices would go. So it's interesting. Oh, here it is, the flapjack fire. <laughs> that's right, that's what I called it. Um, it would definitely be interesting for you to choose w what kind of conversations you want to pursue with Delilah and I think that that would change how m your playthrough and my playthrough would be like okay I'm getting somewhere to the right down here this was where I came earlier right to the uh, yeah, I went across to the supply cache there. <laughs> All right. We opened this already, so... Ooh. I have to kind of go through the fire-ish area. 
So head east. Okay. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. <laughs> Well, I, I guess that was, um... <laughs> I wonder the camera I have, am I supposed to be like taking more pictures with it? Hmm. Let's keep going. Oh, what? I thought I was going east. Oh no, you're right. That would have been proof. Oh no. Oh, that's such a good point. If only I had done... I only took a... Oh, I wonder if those were all... Oh, now I want to play the game from the beginning again. <laughs> I know you could redo redo each day, but... Uh, oh, I went the wrong way. It's this way. East is this way. But, but if I got... If they decided to catch me and prosecute me, at least, you know, then they could... Oh, what is that? Wrecked snowmobile. Why would there be a wrecked? There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Several of them. I guess it snows in here. More. There doesn't seem to be anybody out here. Yeah, they could, I guess. But they could probably do a comparison with the handwriting. Camp. In the right place. Oh, no. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. <sighs> 
Of course it would be broken. <laughs> So, is the fire still burning? Or I guess it's done, they've controlled it. Hmm. Oh. I can cut a tree, but I wonder if I'll find an axe later. Does not look crossable. Nope. Hmm. I must be able to find a way back through here later, but not right now. Can I jump? <laughs> Probably very dangerous. down here. Okay, long drop down. Let's hope I... Oh, I was supposed to radio her. I just jumped. Okay. Look at that totem. Well, let's hope we find an axe to get back. a scout or a weedle or whatever. I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. What the hell's a clove hitch? Ah, uh, well it's a knot that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Huh. You know how to tie one? Heck no, I'd make a weedle do it. Hmm. Doesn't look like anybody's been here. Old shelter. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Is there anything I can use? Bear trap! There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. What? How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? Why? You don't think you're gonna end up on a milk carton, do you? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins, and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD day hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. She was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. <laughs> Mitch. I'm gonna take this and read 31 It'll be like 40 something he is not known to be familiar with the area huh gonna hold on to this 
I'm still trying to find a scout, right, to help me. I don't even know what I'm looking for them for. <laughs> to help me with something. I need an axe to cut down a tree. Oh, well, what do you know? Oh, no. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Now I'm gonna look like an axe murderer carrying around an axe. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Looks Pulaski. Like this thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the back country and getting through that fence. I have an a Pulaski. <laughs> oh, what? Huh. Hey, D. They left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Squad boss. Squad boss Carson. In the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the thoroughfare region of Shoshone National Forest to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. I'm writing you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at YPT Station. He reached out to the superintendent with wildfire wildfire concerns about his research site. Oh, that's who's out there. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak with you as part of a wildfire risk assessment of the region. I told them they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most potent preventative measure in protecting their site, even though they'll be more than a mile away. But I think they've got insurance companies to answer to. Thanks as always for your service. So, uh, next few days dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti. Wapiti Station. Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? <laughs> Us? Me? <laughs> you and I aren't very interesting. Horned toads? Well, you know, probably just horned toads. And a Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just, what, recreation for them? I'm just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. I'm freaking out here. At least we know there is something real happening behind that fence. I think that we should consider that maybe this is all just a coincidence, but my gut says that there is something bad going on. Mine too. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Now this just got real. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hold it. Oh, okay. Can I cut through this? I can. Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> Why did I walk backwards? Clear it. Huh? What? <laughs> what am I not getting here? Uh, that's weird. Isn't it? Is it because I'm not holding the axe? No? Sorry, the I forgot what it's called again. Settings. Examine. Keep. Oh, is that <laughs> is that what you're asking? 
Oh, that makes sense. No, he's not running very fast. That is weird. I thought I would just... Uh. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> I was not expecting to do that. <laughs> it broke. There's that tree we were looking at. I thought it was dangerous to run with the axe. It's a dead end. Amazing that fell the way I wanted it to. <laughs> Hop over. Whoa. Nice. Okay. Um, this is all going to happen today. I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume. You are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> what? Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? There isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Well, what about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Oh no, why? No! Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the oh fiftieth time today. The flapjack fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. What's going on? Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? What? Why is she so? I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is- I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Her voice is so weirdly positive. Oh, wait, what? Why did he put down his wedding ring? Yeah, well, but why is she pretending to be superly normal? It's odd. Well, can I go out? Oh, I can. I want to cut down a tree, but... I have two chairs. <gasps> My die is gone! 
<laughs> Someone took the die. I guess that's what she's going for, but it just seems weird. Oh, it's back! <gasps> we can play the game again! <laughs> it is! Let's put it somewhere safe. <laughs> If I do this, it's going to drop on the floor again, isn't it? I don't know how to do this safely. Oh, oh good. Okay. <laughs> Can't close the drawer, though. Uh, I'll leave it. Phew. <laughs> Glory. Singular mind. I have a clipboard too. But I can't look at it. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Tree in the top row. Let me look at it and I'll tell you. No. You don't need to tell me, just, um, internalize it. it. It's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Uh, oops. Lodge Pole Pine? Tree, right? Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize again? Top row, second from the left. Second Head to a from place named the... After that oh, wait. Tree, Oops. A wonderful afternoon. Oh, I see. Uh, cottonwood. Obviously, I don't know the my left from my right. <laughs> All right. Let's keep going. I guess I do get to go out today. Oh, the light works. They didn't cut my electricity. Okay. Everything still looks okay. I want to go cut that tree down since I have an axe. Even though it might be something I do later. But I want to cut it down <laughs> since it was there. Wow, it's kind of hazy today. it up here? It was like on a ridge. Around a ridge somewhere, right? to the, the tree I saw before. I think it, I thought it was up here. <laughs> it, yeah, right here, right? And I thought I came... No? I guess I was mistaken. I thought there was a tree to cut around a ridge somewhere. I 
I can't remember where it was. see where I am on the map. Cash. Oh, there, that tree. Uh, oh, I have to go kind of around the other way. I was sort of near it. <laughs> what? Uh, I just heard something. What is it? I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying, though. Well, it could be an elk, or it could be someone trying to get you to radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that's not fun. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. I want to cut the tree first. Examine flora poster. Oh, did I not examine it already? They want me to go to Cottonwood Creek, right? I went the wrong way. Let's go back up. I'm so bad with directions. <laughs> is that what it, is that what they sound like? I, I I wouldn't be familiar with it. I guess. I've never heard one. Okay, the tree's coming up. <laughs> well, that's a better guess than what I think it could be. Oh, there's that tree. I want to chop down this one. So I have to go around this way. I thought it just sounded like um, squeaky, something squeaking, but not sure what. Or like a generator a little bit, maybe? Okay, let's cut. I feel this will be useful later. I don't know why, but that might be useful later. <laughs> okay. You you said you played this game before? I def okay. <laughs> I'm not feeling it's like solving mysteries instead of like hike just oh no no I'm still getting lost on the 
Okay. I have to head south. Okay, south. This looks good. Ah, yeah, I can imagine with like if you had Game Pass to try out many different games. Yeah, I couldn't imagine. stuck oh. okay I think if I got the name correct this is where she said I should head so to the east or sorry west don't know what she's expecting me to find. <sighs> oh gosh, I hope I don't scream. West. Now I feel like I'm playing a scary game. <laughs> which was not what I was expecting from this game. We're still going the right way? We are, okay. <sighs> oh, that tree. It looks scary. And all that rustling sound does not sound good. Oh. Oh. What? Ski. Ski. Yeah, it, it... Even now, like, long games are hard to finish. Wow, this is a completely different view. Why would there be a ski here? Okay, I can't report it to her. Ski Big tree um, Okay It's telling me to examine the flora poster still Did I mess up because I didn't do that part? Cache 308. I guess I should go check out the cache. It's right over there. Go to... Yeah. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cache box there? Uh-huh. Uh, must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. Uh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why did he do that? That's the second time. Like, somehow that makes him back up. Oh my goodness, something's wrong with the controls. There we go. D 
right? She says she never really left the area, so why did she come out here? Huh? What is that? S one, just one stray match. Three blind rats. Oh, what? Oh. Oh my goodness. I got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy Henry, we have to get into that site. <sighs> Whatever these people are doing is illegal, right? Are you okay? I don't know, Henry. People have been listening to us all summer. How is this actually happening? I don't know. I, I, I'm scared. None of it makes any sense. Am I just making all of this up? I mean, the eavesdropping, the spying, is this... Are you... Are you is any of this real? What? Are you serious? Maybe I'm, I'm just, maybe I'm just losing my mind. I kind of thought that. Like Julia. What happened to Julia? Oh, she? See? <sighs> um, nothing. It, uh, it doesn't matter. Just Maybe there was something in the water or our condo was underneath some power lines. And, and you, Delilah, you're not real. Henry, you are losing it. I don't know everything that's happened to you, but you have to pull yourself together, okay? I am real, okay? Okay. Henry, sweetie, I am real and this is happening. I'm as real as the sky is blue. Take a second and then call me back. I'm on your side. Uh-huh. Three blind rats. Odd choice. Who are the blind rats? When FBI informants need protection, you call the police. When those informants wind up dead, you call Neil Black. Like a murder, mis like a mystery book. Okay. All right. Okay, give me one second. I just need to be right back. <laughs> I feel like I'm so close to the end of the game, but I'm not sure how, how much longer it's going to be and how much further I can go. <sighs> oh, I want to solve the mystery. I want to know what's going on. 
Does this game let you just save here? I guess you can. Oh, what do I think? Should I save the mystery for next time? <laughs> I'm on day 97, I think it was, or 79. Oh, I almost called her. Um, there's no way to tell. <laughs> but we are getting close to the end, and I feel like it's going to be a big review. It's either 97 or 79. I, I can't remember exactly. <laughs> Am I close? <laughs> All right. Okay, let's give this a final push then. All right, let's call Delilah. Huh? Do I have to stand? Oh, do I have to have this open to call her? Wait. Uh-oh, what happened to the prompt to call her? Uh-oh, I think I screwed up the game. <laughs> it says, call her back when I'm ready. Uh, nope. Hello? Hello? <laughs> um, flowers are pretty here. I can't call her. She said, take a moment. And then it says call Delilah at first. And then now that option to call her is not showing up. How come I can't call her back? Nope. Oh, I think I messed it up. <laughs> she did tell me to clear. I think it bugged because she told me I stepped away from the box. Let me try to see if I can reload that part or not. If I have to restart the day, uh, I guess they don't expect you to walk away. Keep as evidence. Let me call her. Uh, wait, if I keep that as evidence, well, I couldn't if it's um, uh, load game. Oh, where was this? That's a long way, isn't it? I guess... Hmm... If I restart the current day, then I just have to run down here? Actually... <laughs> Why can't I call her? This is annoying. Ah. Hello, Delilah. 
it's midnight here so I think since the game bugged out I might have to just call it here let me just try to go back a little bit and see if it pops up or not um, maybe if I'm back at my if we go far enough away it might g still give me the choice to call her back Do you think it'll load in the right place though? I can try it. Oh. But now it's going to load the bug game. 1202. It didn't actually like... Yeah, that's kind of where it just keeps... I'll just try a little bit further and see if... Uh, if I head back far enough, maybe. Oh, this is towards the uh, snowmobile. Or maybe I'll just keep going to the meadows, because that's where she's set to go. Yeah, it just keeps auto-saving. It's kind of weird. I'm going to head towards the fence. That's what I'll do. Maybe I don't really need to talk to her about it. Um, break into a PD metal, right? So I'm just going to do that. Uh, let's see here. Um, it was... Keep heading, what is this, west until we get to the Jonesy Lake. So head towards Jonesy Lake. Okay. I think I can keep going. Let's go. Head west. you to say the minimum and just keep it vague I know and I didn't I, I, I just didn't want to be hassled and now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation and I've filed a report that's a blatant lie oh, and those girls <gasps> are still missing that's been three months <laughs> What does that have to do with the site that we're going to? Oh my goodness. Why? <laughs> Head west. Ah, I really do feel like I'm being messed with here. This is west. Yep. West. Keep heading towards Jonesy Lake. This story is really <laughs> messed up so far. <laughs> like, if if everything before that was true, and I was just trying to get you know, clear my mind and now I'm being pulled into this whole drama. It's kind of messed up. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. It was through there. Oh, lost. Okay. So north and then west a little bit. Wait, what? Oh, this is the 
medicine man thing. What? Are... Ah. Oh, how did I do that? Uh. This way. I bet the playthrough for you must have been quite different even though you said you played it a long time ago. Probably you chose different dialogues and it might have given you different uh, images of what was going on. At least I won't fall off this time. <laughs> I hope. It's getting late. I'm still gonna try to make my way out there. Jonesy Lake was this way. Right through here, right where the fire they started, through the path here. Oh, it's saved again. This is where I got clocked. <laughs> Sign's still the same, right? Two forks. Oh, I guess this is also a way back to my area, but I'm gonna go through here. Did I ever get this supply cache? No, oh, I didn't. Oh. Wait, did she change them all to... Ooh, look at that. RT. No fireworks. Ron got some bad news back home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though, budgets being what they are? Did you get my, my note about what went down in YP? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up. Dave, P.S. Amigos is Spanish and professionals is... Professionals is Italian. What? Do I want to tell her about the note? Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance that they had anything to do with those girls disappearing? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Hmm. Old Sweater, University of Eastern Colorado. The fourth estate. Ooh, hey. Richard Sturgeon. They like reading books by him. Neil Black again thought a trip to California would do him go good. He so he'd soak up some sun, drive a convertible, and maybe enjoy a poolside drink with a tiny umbrella. Betrayal, murder, deceit. It's like someone's uh, mystery novels or detective novels. Been reading them too much. 
wanted their own mystery. Is that what Delilah's doing to me? All right, here we go. Why is she setting me up for this then if she, if this is like her f having fun or something? I don't know. Because she's bored and <laughs> she's been out here for like many, many years doing this every time. I don't know. Fence. to the gate down. There's nobody around and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. Okay. <coughs> Ooh, breaking and entering. 1863. I'm just gonna remember that for some reason. What PD? Why PD? Whoa. B! Oh no! I got stung by a bee. Okay. <laughs> is is that it? Yeah. Did it did it hurt? Yes. Yes, kind of. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm sorry. If you are trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th to October 15th. University owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area and any issues, malfunctions or violations should be reported immediately. Okay. I've been keeping everything. I don't know if I should be. Oh, it's getting dark. The music is getting suspenseful. Feels a little bit like near the end of Edith. What controlled vegetation? Nothing. The music is just. This is going to be like the last shots. I can't believe I've only taken so few photos. <laughs> Was the fence really that big? What is that? It's like a radio tower. It's, the, it's just the graphics on my game. see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. And they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Mystery. I feel like I got pulled into this mystery so quickly. Oh, I can't. Okay. <laughs> That's all right. Um, I hope I get punched and knocked out and then maybe I can... Is that a robot? 
What's all this? Is the floor supposed to be glowing like this or is something wrong with my graphics card? <laughs> There's lights going on in there. Um. Do I save here and find out the mystery next time? It looks like they're just growing crops down here. Look, they get supply drops too. some sort of monitoring station. Hmm. Water source operator, fire equipment, conversion chart, camp stove. I just I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. And they know you're there, so see what you can find and get out. I found their main monitoring desk. Oh my god, what do you see? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. The desk in here is a mess. I mean, it's, it's like someone was in a rush or knocked a bunch of stuff over on accident. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. map here that confirms they're tracking my our oh, people's yeah. movements. Oh yeah, good the point. It's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Good point. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. Disproportionate disproportionate food intake. Conflict with other mates. Desire for copulation. Wait, what am, what's going on? This is kind of like... Avoidance behaviors. Co Whoa. Already tray of reports? No. What else am I supposed to look at? I feel like suddenly I'm like an alien that they're tracking there's some sort of monitor i don't know what it does maybe air quality or something maybe they're keeping data on everything that could impact our moods that looks possible this is crazy I mean, this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle i have to tell you if i found out this was nasa i'd be a hell of a lot happier 1989 it can't be that Oh, what did I knock over? This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. So they live and work in the same tent? Yeah, it's all one operation. <laughs> like us. Yeah, like us. Well, so what am I looking for to get? Oh, this wave receiver. Uh. Uh oh. Oh. Wave receiver instructions. Oh, come on. Uh. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. Using your Anderson Wayfinder, locate any strong signals. Green light equals target straight ahead. Distance light. <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> he just did. Strength of signal. Tone equals source of signal discovered. Okay. Wait, what? Tone equals source of signal discovered. Green light. How do I hold it back up? Nope. How, how did I have it in my hand? Oh, there we go. It's like a compass. South. Oh, they're doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gridded off. What else they're up to? Um, west, northwest. Am I supposed to go? What does that mean? They're measuring the barometric pressure too. Why? Maybe it's just a diversion. Yes, but is it here or is it behind a mug? Just what? Just Hoof it? What? <laughs> Follow the beeping device. Yeah, but I can't tell. This is a way. Oh, whatever direction gives the green light. Southwest? Oh, good thing I... So it's something in that room then. Can't uh, oh. oh, oh, that must be it. What is that? Subjects, what? Wait, what, 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 what? Are you shitting me? What, what is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? Their assessments about the two of us. It says things about my life. S stuff you don't know. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, did, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? Do you have a boyfriend, Javier? What the... Wish you hadn't left that out? I don't! I, I didn't! This is insane! I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down! Wait, what? Think about it. Look, maybe that's what they want us to do. What do you mean? M maybe they're trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. I mean, the grass is dry as hell here, it would go up in a second. Well, now I'm thinking, what if you're right? I, I just don't think we should do anything that we can't undo. Yep. Well, maybe it's it not did the best say idea. that. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, so found up. It's all right. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. I feel like I'm not gonna even make it back. I'm gonna be running out, and suddenly those people are gonna show up be like hey who are you and then knock me out yeah. 
be too obvious if I made it back, right? And they did find me earlier and punched me and knocked me out. Ooh, ooh, the weather's suddenly very stormy. Actually, uh, oh, uh, how do I get to my inventory? Oh, here we go. Uh, this one, right? Mm, not this one. This one. Hmm? Why do I keep getting the squad boss one? I want I want the other. How come I can't select it? How do I select the I want to read the other note? No, not this one. How come it won't let me? It says... Yes. And then... I want to see the report again. <laughs> uh, it won't let me read it. I know I want to see that report, but I can't. This is. There's no other way to select it. Uh, am I going to get out? Uh oh Whoa. Why is there a column of smoke? Oh. Uh, Henry? I think there is smoke coming from north of Jonesy Lake. That is suspiciously close to where you just were. Do you see it? Yeah. Jesus, okay, yeah, I see it. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. I don't know. I have no idea what to do. We have a fire burning in the woods. The one thing I know how to respond to, and all of this shit has me wondering what the hell to do. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Oh! Day 77. Oh, I guess I was wrong. I was... Uh-oh, now we're... <laughs> okay. I think this is... I'm not going to use the wave receiver. I think this is a good time to pause in the game. Especially since I can't read the notes. Can I read it now? Yeah, I'm glad I somehow got out. I didn't have to run through that. But, yeah, I still can't select... Oh! Now I can select the notes. Okay. Let's take a quick look at the notes and then we'll call it a night. So, Henry, I'm 39. Has it been 10 weeks? Guilt-ridden, susceptible to influence, unsure of self, but reliable. Subject has fully engaged supervisor trust yet to be scientifically proven all signs point towards full d corporation cooperation update subject may be aware of test suggest we disengage if subject decides to leave his post susceptibility and manipulation nine okay where where's delilah's note did I give it to her?
oh, there it is. Delilah, 43. 10 weeks. Reliable, observant, char charis charismatic, selfish, skewed perception of personal history. Never married, no kids, rarely hikes or leaves immediate surroundings. Multiple lovers despite longtime partner Javier. Susceptibility to manipulation three. Hers is pretty plain. Pretty, yeah. E.G. It's none of these people though. Dr. Ben Simmons. Wow, the re suddenly this is really strange. But we made good progress and that was pretty, pretty intense. Are you sure this is a... Uh, <laughs> yeah, the plot definitely thickens. Are you sure this is um, an easy <laughs> chill game <laughs> of hiking through the forest? <laughs> That was a lot of fun though. That was great. Okay, oh, thank you so much for joining me tonight on this. Um, I'm gonna go to the menu. I saved it. And we're back here. What a, what a difference it's been. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great day finishing up and hope you get to do the things you wanted to do last week that you weren't able to like going to do archery and thank you so much i uh, hope you have a great day and as always too thank you so much for joining me until next time see you bye